Hey hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. Last time, it was a bit of a short one, I think we made a few games. If we go to game history, I think we can see. Yeah, Ben Franklin and how he discovered America. And uh, I think last the time before that we made Saucy Romance the game. Yeah, the last time we made Ben Franklin how he discovered USA. That is probably one of my favorite games so far. Alright, let's make, um, let's see if we can do some more research. We only have 10 research points. Actually, no, we can't do anything. Um, I kind of want to create a custom engine. I kind of want to. Because I think it would add... I don't know. We don't really have that much stuff. Hmm. I think we really just need to keep pushing with the games and unlock more stuff and then make, like, a really good engine. Because if we have... If we have an engine that has everything, then we can... Uh... If we have an engine that does everything, then we can pick and choose from what we want instead of just having an engine that doesn't really do much and we can't really pick from many options. So it's usually good to have a really big one, which you can do a lot of stuff, I think. That's what I assume, <laughs> at least. Okay, so I picked virtual, virtual Pet. I don't think we've done anything like that yet. And Young, because kids like virtual pet games. I think I had one when I was a kid, actually, on my DS. Um, let's name it your oh, your fave dog no wait your fave dog named oop got to get the capitals in name named like why why is this why is that so hard okay name dave yep your fave dog named dave that is the best title it's a simulation great combo it says good good and gameling, I think, right? Mm, yeah, simulations plus plus. Okay, your fave dog named Dave. Nice. And it rhymes too. Kids like rhymes, I think, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. I think this will work out good. All right. Uh, game convention. Dear Pac-Man Inc., we have followed your progress, and we would like to extend this formal invitation to participate in the biggest game convention on the planet. Games, games, games. Also known as G3. Okay, um, I guess E3 is what it's supposed to be copying. Um, get a booth. Yeah, I guess I'll get a booth. I'll get a booth. Um, I guess I don't get to pick yet, though. Okay, we don't really want very much story and quests. I think that's what that minus means. Uh, I've been watching some tutorials on it. Just one, but it kind of helped me figure out what's going on. Okay, so we want a pretty good engine, really good gameplay. Pretty low stories and quests. Yeah. Okay, I think that's good. I think that is okay. Your fave dog name Dave. Maybe I should have just left out the E. Hmm. Because you can also spell it without an E. Hmm. Well, too late now. Okay. Um, artificial intelligence, I think that means plus plus plus. Like, have it as high as possible. I hope that's what that means. We don't really want too much dialogue because it's just a dog. Or an animal, I guess. I guess you could have, like, your fave cat named Felix maybe <laughs> I think I have a ca I have a cat named Felix yeah he's just not around too much um, we don't see him that much okay so sound is really good I think I think we want low world design and like kind of low graphics like that like a little little step staircase yeah I think that's right okay this guy's gonna have to go on a vacation pretty soon I think we'll get him to go on vacation after we're done our game oh we're almost done it okay and we're done. Okay, good. Didn't really break any records, but that's okay. It's just a kid's game. We'll get this guy on vacation so he can, uh, this little bar can go up back up. Okay, the first reviews for your fave dog named Dave came in. I see some big numbers. Ooh, played it for days. Nice, even though it's a kid's game. Don't know what that says about their, um, personal choices, but that's okay. 888. Another eight, can we go full eight or nine or 10? Oh, 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 that's nice. That's gonna be some good money. That's gonna be some good money. Let's generate a game report just because that is a really good game. We wanna know why it's a really good game. Okay, so I think those pluses and minuses actually, that's what they were for. I think we did a good job with that. Okay, it seems that the market has normalized again with no strong trend. Oh, I didn't even notice there was a trend. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Okay. Um, our analysis, sound seems to be quite important for this game. Okay, that's good. And then um, platform audience match, gameling slash young is great. Okay, so that's that's what I thought. 
Um, uh, what should we do now? Maybe find some tr contract work? I think we could do this one. Let's do this one. I just like doing them just so you can get a little extra cash on the side. Um, the latest game that we has received very positive reviews. All games gave it a 9, saying oh, it gave it 8, but okay, whatever. Almost perfect. If Pac-Man Inc. continues to innovate like this, they might become a new fan favorite. Oh. Oh, let's get a uh, medium booth since we have such. No, uh, that's 500k. That's quite a bit. Let's let, just a small booth. Just a small booth. We don't want to spend all our money on something we don't really care about too much. Okay, I think we need. Okay, we got 15k from that. Let's see, maybe we can do one more. Eh. Yeah, I think we can do this one. Yeah, let's do this one. Really quick. I think we want to keep making games until we have enough research points to research some of the main really good things to get a good engine yeah okay good 17 quick 17k let's just see um research but things we can research like i think i want to get level editor no maybe not hmm maybe just better dialogue and i think we can make an engine with that for now we can always make better ones like since this is our first engine like it doesn't have to be that great like we only have these things to research anyway so, I think if we get better dialogue and then make an engine, I think we could be good to go. Okay, here's a game convention. And we're uh, showing your fave dog named Dave, which is really good because it's a really good game. Good na good game to come out around this time. Quite a few people. I don't really know what the gauge is for like how, how many is a lot of people. I think this is my first convention, so that's not too bad, I don't think. Uh, we didn't make in the top 100 boosts. Once we gain more fans, I'm sure we will. Okay. 44,000, I mean, like, that's a lot of people, right? <laughs> like, for a convention? That seems like a lot. I don't know. I don't know what, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, today, Vona has announced, Vony has announced their new own console comes with Play System. Apparently, the company has completed, completely reworked the earlier Play System prototype after Nivento cancelled the project. Okay, so this is, like, the first PlayStation. Cool. Um, it comes with a CD-ROM drive, 32-bit processor. Um, declined to comment about it. Or an inventor declined to comment about it. Um, enter the market in two months. Okay, so that's around the top. That must be, this must be like the 80s. Oh, what the heck is this? Decrypt message? <laughs> what? This is a very special offer. Our agents has, have recently managed to borrow, in quotations, some research information that we might be interested, that you might be interested in. If you're interested, then transfer 62k and then, uh, 62k to the enclosed Apple account and then will contact you? Uh, I don't really, I don't really care about that. That sounds like a scam if I've ever heard one. All right, let's create an engine. I think we should do that. We'll call it, um, I don't know what we're gonna call it. Okay, we want 2D graphics, V2. We want to have a linear story, simple cutscenes. Um, because I pick all these things, it means that I can add them to the game. I can not have them in the game, but I can have them in the game if I want to but I can also not. So say like a game like, uh, like the one that we just made, maybe we don't want a save game added to it. Um, but maybe you do, it depends, yeah. Okay, uh, so now at the, off the market, we generated almost a hundred, or only, almost a million in sales. Okay, that's pretty good. And we have sequels available. Oh, okay, so we can make sequels to games now, okay. So that's basically like, If you make a really good game, I think it's not good to make it right after because it seems kind of like a people won't buy it as much. So they'll be mad at you because you just made like a copy of a game that you just made. Um, so I think you have to wait a little bit, kind of until maybe like it would be a good time when you like don't really have very many good games to make a good game. You know? Yeah. Wow, that was really fast. Okay, we got a new game engine. So let's make a game. Maybe we should research uh, a new topic or something. A surgery game? Hmm. That sounds kind of boring. Maybe a mature government game to test our new engine, because we could do a lot with that. Yeah, let's try that. And um, we'll train him in technology. Is there a technology one? Yeah, that one. It costs 15k, but that's not too bad. Um, hopefully it goes fairly fast because I don't really want to make this game by myself. I need I need help from Wyatt O'Brien. Um, okay. 
Research complete, government. So, you made, it, you made a custom engine. So can you make another one even though it'll be, oh wait. So you can make a second one even though it'll be exactly the same as the first one. Okay, that doesn't really make much sense, but I mean, if you want to make two, I, I, I guess you can. Okay, we got some more technology from Wyatt, um, just because. I think we'll make a mature government game. Government? Hmm. I don't know what to call it, though. Um, it'll be a, a strategy game? Yeah. Adults like strategy games, right? I think so. And it will be for... Should we get the play system? Hmm. It does cost 200k to license it, but we do get a pretty good market share. Um... Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm sure we can make lots of good games on here because it'll be a really popular system if it is the same as in real life. Okay, so we'll call it... If it's a government game... I'm trying to think of a good title. If it's a government game... Hmm. I don't really know what about government, though. Like... <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Donald Trump... The game. The game. Oop. Just wait. The game. Ba bam Donald Trump's game. Because Donald Trump was around. He's like 70 years old, I think. Why can't I go next? Oh, I didn't pick the genre. Uh, yeah, strategy. Okay. Donald Trump's game. He was around. He ran for president in 2000. I'm pretty sure it's the early 90s, but... Or maybe the early 80s. I'm not sure. Anyway. Uh, we'll get 2D Graphics V2. Yeah. Spending a lot of money. Okay, this is our, like, most expensive game so far, I think. Alright, so see, now that we have an engine, we can add all these things, but we can also not add them. It just costs more money. So, I think we want... Uh, simple cutscenes, save game, game tutorials, and better user experience. I don't think we want a story, because it's like a strategy game. So it doesn't really need much story, but it wanna... I think we'll have, like, the stories and quests in the middle. Gameplay high, engine, like about there. I hope I'm doing this right, because I'm spending a lot of money. Because <laughs> I spent 200k for the... We got some hype. Spent 200k for the license to put it on uh, the PlayStation. Uh, better dialogue, sure. Um, dialogues minus minus. Oh, maybe we shouldn't have better dialogues then. I'm not sure. I'll keep it there. We want really high level design in AI. Maybe not that high, but like about there. Uh, yeah, okay. I hope I'm doing this right because I don't want to mess it up. Oh, we'll see. It'll be a learning experience, I guess. Um, so it won't be op open world because we just, it's a strategy game. I was thinking kind of like a, I don't know, like a Bomberman kind of 2D kind of pixely graphic sort of thing where you like move, move, do government things. Like a Sim City, like, yeah, yeah, like a Sim City game, except about the government. That seems pretty good. <laughs> you build like legislative buildings. Um, world design, pretty good. Graphics can be pretty good. Um, sound. Oh, wait, maybe graphics can be kind of low, because it has that minus. Maybe as good as the sound. Maybe a little less. I don't know. Kind of just <laughs> guessing. Okay, okay. I think we got a new record on the design, though. Has a lot of bugs, too. Okay, we got hype 8. I don't know if that's good or not. I think it's okay. Um, it, m it seems that the market responds particularly particularly well to games with new topics at the moment. Okay, that's good, because government is a new topic that I just researched. So, that shouldn't be good. Okay, finish. I think we got a record on the design. Yeah, oh, we got a record on both. Sweet, okay. I hope this game is good, and why it leveled up, so that's good too. Okay. Um, oh, we had to get increase the following staff to earn a raise. Oh, why it got a 12k raise. Dang, man. That's a pretty big raise. That's like a double your raise. Double your salary, man. Um, the first reviews came in for Donald Trump the game. That's definitely going to be the title of this episode. <laughs> uh, okay, seven. Okay, okay, okay. Government strategy is a great combination. Okay, I knew that. I knew that in my brain. Okay, an eight. That's good. It's looking good. Two good games in a row. I mean, that's pretty, like... That's pretty up there, man. Okay, an eight. Okay, one six. That's not too bad at all. That's not bad at all, man. Um, 
gonna get the what are we gonna do generate game report for Donald Trump's game I only got a seven and a quarter hmm that's not too not too great but not bad either okay getting lots of money I want to make our money back I think we have made our money back pretty well okay so we got the report for Donald Trump the game uh, government and strategy is a great combination. Dialogue seemed to be not important. Okay, so that's good that I didn't do better dialogues or anything. Um, platform genre match. Placing some strategy. Oh, it's bad. Okay. I don't know. I guess. Oh, I should have made it for the PC, maybe. Hmm. I forgot about that. Yeah. Probably should have done that. Okay. I think. If we have any contract work, that's easy. Eh, not really. No, not really. Okay, so I think I'll end it here. We made Donald Trump the game, and we also made... <laughs> I forgot what I called it. Um, your fave dog named Dave. I think we made we made almost a million in this game, and I think we'll make... So far, we've made 400 grand from this game. So, and it's not even done yet. So I think we did pretty good. It's rank 84. I don't know if that's good or not. I think it's pretty good. Uh, we've sold a lot of units. Um, so yeah, anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. Next time... I want to continue. Actually, we made the engine. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, we also made the engine too, which is pretty good. I think we need to keep making games to get more research points. Okay, it sold half a million sales. That's not bad. I think I spent about that much. But next time, I want to get more points so we can research like sequels, level editor, medium games, um, new topics. There's new topics to get like life. That'd be a cool one. We could make like a sport game or something. Um, anyway, yeah. So. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.